Heading into fall is when lots of you creative, crafty folks really hit your stride. So the budget-friendly projects that Adina Anderson brought today are landing in our lap right on time, I think. Yes, definitely. The cooler weather with the fall. You really want to get into the color. Summer's over. Mm -hmm. And so I have some fun projects here, and they're really inexpensive. And you just head over to your craft store. And I did the leaf here with online. I just printed up a leaf and enlarged it and put it on cardstock. And that's our template. And mm -hmm. these are fun foam 99 cents, $1.99 yeah, at any craft really store. Really affordable. Really fun for the kids to play with. And you just trace it out, cut it out, and then you end up with your wonderful, beautiful leaf here. And you can make those in all different colors. And sizes, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. We've got yellow, red, orange, there's green. They have every color you need. And what we're going to do is we have letters here. And I got these at the craft store as well. I hit a great sale. On these. Yeah, it's always good. Or you <laughs> have a coupon. Guarantee. Exactly. Yeah. The coupons are great. And all you need is a glue dot to start it off. And these are fun because the kids can use these without burning themselves. Though I do suggest using hot glue to finish this off so that it holds okay. together well. So mom and dad need to help out. They do, yes. So you're going to put a little glue dot there. And I'm going to let you have fun. All you're going to do is wrap the heck out of this thing. Okay, so we're wrapping this letter in <laughs> yes. just some yarn, fall and if colors. if you find that it starts to shift a little, add another glue dot. Okay. Or add a little hot glue. And then you just kind of wrap, and then you're going to wrap the whole thing. And it does get a little tricky when you have your A, you know, you got to cut and put different ones in. But this is your finished project here when you're done, after you hot glue your leaf on and you hot glue your letters on. And I wanted to show you a little tip here. You can kind of see this one here has kind of, looks like spider webs or the glue yeah. sticking out, and this one doesn't. Right. Just take your hair dryer for a couple minutes, and it will actually melt the glue into the string, and it'll show up like this. And that works for every project. It if does. you have those little hot glue it makes spidery them go away. strings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just hit it with a hair dryer, and they disappear. Too bad the hair dryer doesn't make the real spiders That's go cute. away. So you could use that on the wall, on your front door, just about yes. anywhere that you want some fall exactly, decor. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's a nice easy project. And so this one here, I yeah, just picked up some wood decor. over at Lowe's and what I did is I got a big sheet that they have and I cut it, had them cut it into strips. They don't charge you to cut it into strips. So that mm -hmm. part was really cool. So just a, like a piece of plywood? Just a piece of plywood, exactly. Okay. And this is the chalkboard paint. Everybody is into the chalkboard paint. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to let you have fun with that. And okay. you'll see as you put it on, one coat is enough. That's all I used and it goes on really nice. Now, could you write on this if you wanted to? You could. You could write on the wood. Um, you could write with the paint markers. These make it really here. I'll show you how easy it is to write on this. So you can do the paint markers work great. They're for glass, wood, plastic, pretty much anything. Okay. And so once you're done painting it, we're going to do a fun little burlap fall on this one okay. with some twine. So we've got one that's already painted we and dry. We do, yes. And all you're going to do is grab your hot glue. Now for the burlap, they sell these at the craft store. You get a big old, this will last you forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when, we're just cutting out some squares. Yes. And the way I made it frayed is you can just pull each one of these little things out here. And you get your little just pull fray a string look. on each side yes. to give you a nice little border. And it, it's kind of cute. It gives you that scarecrow look, the little fall look. And then you can use the paint marker or paint to draw your fall, your know, little letters on mm -hmm. there. And then use your hot glue. And I'm actually going to put it on the burlap. Oh, you are? Okay. It makes it a lot easier for measuring. And you don't need a lot, you just need a little strip. Now, if you're going to put this outside and it's still maybe hot outside, I would suggest maybe glue dots so that oh, it doesn't okay. melt. I would use a Band-Aid on your fingers. I have calluses because I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but just to press it down. Okay. And write, you could write fall. You could write happy fall. You could do whatever you want or there. Or fall y'all. Fall y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then add some twine to the top. Tie a knot. And that's it. It's really easy. You could even add flowers if you want. That's really Makes cute. It inexpensive, fun decoration yeah, for fall. Yeah, super easy. Yes. All right, so great ideas. I imagine you have all the instructions on your blog. I do, craftingwithadina.com. Mm -hmm. I'm also on Twitter, and Instagram, Snapchat, all those fun social media. Okay, good. <laughs> Some fun ideas for getting us into the fall. Thanks yeah. so much. Well, happy fall, y'all. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Same to you. The website, once again, is craftingwithadina.com.